Well, believe it or not, at the 11th hour, the United States Congress found a resolution to reopen the government and avoid defaulting on its debt. And it only took 16 days, just one day short of the October 17th deadline set by the U.S. Treasury Secretary. Yesterday, Senate leaders announced that the final deal would end a partial government shutdown. And after passing in the Senate, the bill was brought to the House floor late last night, where it was cleared with 285 congressmen voting for the bill and 144 against it. Let's take a quick look at what this bill actually entails. The deal will fund the government until January 15th. If both sides haven't agreed on a long-term solution by that point, we could see another government shutdown. Under the plan, they also agreed to lift the debt limit through February 7th. But perhaps the most interesting aspect of the bill is the earmarked spending that made its way in. $2.2 billion has been authorized for a project that involves a dam that flows through the home state of Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. And that's, of course, on top of the $775 million that's already been allocated to the project. The president signed that bill early this morning, and later at a news conference, Obama called out the Republican Party for their involvement in the country's near default. You don't like a particular policy or a particular president? Then argue for your position. Go out there and win an election. Push to change it. But don't break it. Don't break what our predecessors spent over two centuries building. That's not being faithful to what this country is about. With the bill signed, sealed, and delivered, hundreds of thousands of federal employees were finally able to return to work today for the first time in over two weeks. But before breathing a sigh of relief, remember that this is not the last time we'll be hearing about the ominous debt ceiling. And if you want more on that, make sure to tune in to RT's newest financial show, Boom Bust, and that begins at 4.30.